Yo, Brighton won, Man United nil. It's a loss, you know, and it doesn't feel good, man. It doesn't feel good. To lose at the end in the way we lost it is trash. But it's, man, I'm trying to look for positives. Hard to look for positives in a game that ends that way. Like, it's a sucker punch. I wanted, like, again, I wanted the manager to vomit. He was ill. He turns up. No sick note from him. And then his team gets the reward. And you could probably call it revenge for a Brighton. But you know what I mean? If someone's revenge, someone else gets hurt. And we're the team to get hurt. He, every single time, like we, Newcastle, we had the game against Newcastle. We did what we did to Newcastle in the cup. Newcastle beat us. The next game, we played Brighton and we needed more today. But I knew that that's all the team could offer. Man United, all they was going to get out of that game was like a point. There was no... You, these, these teams could have played for another, I don't know, 90 minutes. And you don't see a team scoring from open play. You know, it's, it's, it's always getting to penalties. And once again, it goes to penalties. Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw has to take responsibility there. You want Luke Shaw to be solid. You know, me and Flex is talking about just Luke Shaw in the air and how, you know, he doesn't miss Martinez, this, that and the other. And again, Luke Shaw tried to jump in the air, but he jumped with his hands. And then we saw that moment, you know, not saying that Martinez won't make a mistake like that, but it just, it just goes to show in these moments, in the dying moments, you need the big players to stand up and big players just isn't there at the moment. Man United, you can tell, you're looking at that bench and you're saying, what do they have to bring on? Who can change it? In that team, like, midfield-wise, I have to say, Brighton, they have more about them. They can just thread the ball through the middle, like that zip pass and it's get out of trouble. One touch set, everyone's on their way. It's, it's a team that really understand how they want to play. The identity is very clear. And, you know, we, we tried, we did our best to stop them. But they have their moment. It's gutting. It's a gut punch to take. And you're thinking the top four because top four is not done. It's not concluded. There's still a lot of work to be done. Man United need to get the wins. Liverpool hunting. There's so many teams. But if Man United um, give this up, it's their own fault. Man United to blame. I'm not going to go too crazy though and be like, ah, oh, doom and gloom because it's too soon. Again, Man United never make it easy. This is, what, this is what it's like living as a Man United fan. They always say, you know what? Let's go to the wire. Kanye West settings. Like, that's, the, that's what this team's like. They're going to give you a heart attack. They're going to give you a headache. And they're going to make you worry. Like, I just know that the big players need to turn up. We need to win these games at home. But I don't want to put all the pressure at home. West Ham, the next game. Usually, when we lose, there's a response. So we expect to see a response. Revenge at West Ham. West Ham won't be easy. Jared Bowen and them, man, there. Antonio, it's going to be very difficult. But those guys have got a big European game. So hopefully, you know, I don't know if they're going to arrest players or they're going to do something like that. But it's, you know, they're playing a big game on Thursday. Can they afford to start most of their squad? Are they safe? It's, these are the questions that you have to ask yourself. But Man United can't really rely on whatever West Ham's feeling. We have to show up. Again, still got a game in hand over Liverpool. It's dangerous, man. Imagine Liverpool was that light. They've lost so many games. And for them to be in the top four hunt is absolutely crazy. And it will burn. It, it won't. No lies told. If they get, if they pip us to the space, that's going to feel like, ah, oh, it's a knife in the heart, bro. And we can't let that happen. Man United, the boys have to show up. The boys have to do it. There's no banter. There's no laughing. You can't laugh at Arsenal. You can't laugh at any other club if your club doesn't finish where we need to finish. Top four, our tans. That's what we need right now. I don't even know what's going on with the takeover, but you can see this squad needs takeover energy because look at the midfield. Today, you're, you're looking, you're waiting for something. You're saying, Ro, where's it going to come from? Ericsson, can you bring him on? Yeah, the control's there, but he can't run. Then you're looking for other players. You're saying, well, who's technical and who can who can um, move the ball quickly and be a threat, be dangerous. And you don't have those players. You don't have those players. Yes, Sabitza can offer a bit. It's cool, but Fred's cool, but can you have an upgrade to that? Like we saw Casado in there. You got you got Casado and Billy Gilmore playing. And what's that? What's that? What's that kid's name? It's the um Cisco or whatever one that was moving to Casemiro, dropping the shoulder and stuff. I can't even remember that kid's name, but you don't know what I'm talking about anyway. It's a problem. Yeah, in that um in that Brighton midfield, and they were moving. They were on it, and that they, they you can see they're a really good side. But Man United should be better. Man United's aim should be better. Man United's aim is to dominate midfield and, and we get dominated. In that game, it was so, it's so equal. You'd think that they're a real, genuine top four side and that's what they're looking like. 
That's what Brighton are looking like. Brighton are looking like a side that a lot of teams are going to worry here. A lot of teams are going to struggle here. And I'm gutted. I'm really gutted that we couldn't get the point, but we have to move on. Again, are you going to play Brighton every week? Absolutely not. I don't think so. Can't see it. <laughs> are we going to play Brighton every week? No, we're not. Um, I'm happy that Brighton have got other teams to play because bloody hell, man. They're, they're not easy. Again, what's next? De Gea plays well today, but then I'm not going to get onto the distribution thing because he, he made some big saves, took it in the face early. To, uh, load, you know what? De Gea didn't actually even deserve to lose this clean sheet today, if we're being honest. And in the last nine seconds, as soon as they say go to VAR, it's over. You know, a lot of people are talking about referee decisions, this, that and the other. Um, I think that was the best referee we, we've seen in a Man United game for a long time. And that's saying something. Yes, we didn't get the opportunities. I know there was a moment with the melee, with Anthony and all these other things. But we, Man United have themselves to blame. Honestly, first half, I've spoke about clinicalness and we haven't got it. Rashford, low shot, Martial, just Anthony. Three shots I can think of that don't finish, that don't go in. We have to get our act together. I don't know if um, Ten Hag has to change something again, but we need Rashford to find them shooting boots again. We need it. We need this team to give us what was given before. We do need something, and it's going to take some invention from Ten Hag and the boys to get us home, get us over the line. I believe they can do it. <laughs> the boys have got to believe they can do it. Mentally, next season, hopefully, we need the season to end, but we need to get top four. We need to just get to that point where we're not, like, away from home. We've got to deal with this. That's 10 losses against the top, uh, uh, what, top nine or something. You can't do that. You can't do that and say you want big things. You can't get, you're not going to get big things with that response. And now it just makes you think that Spurs game, why? All these different games, you have to do better. Man United have made, have made this situation for themselves. And we've only got ourselves to blame. But listen, can't be doom and gloom. We know what we need to do. If I was to try and choose, um, choose a man of the match, it probably would have had to go to De Gea. Or be, I struggled to find a man of the match because it was such a nothing game. I would have wanted to give it to Wamba Sakura at one stage because he handled that Matoma work, but we lost. <laughs> you know what I mean? We lost. We move. Next game, West Ham. The job can be done. We just got to keep believing in ourselves. We got to understand we're Man United and this is what it takes. Red Devils, boy, like, keep going until there's no more, fam. And I believe, I believe I'm going to channel like the... No, we just got to believe. Listen, we got to believe. Ten Hag, sort it out. Ten Hag, I'm looking at you, bro. Sort it out. Believe in yourself. Talk to these players. Yeah. Thank you. Peace.